Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So as promised, I'm showing you a three week wear video of the Magpie Build Me Up um, Builder in a Bottle gels. So I did this set three weeks ago. So as you can see, there is absolutely no lifting at all. Um, some of the metal pieces have sort of essentially, I want to say the word tarnish, but it's not that. It's where I filed them, um, especially on my index finger, because when I'm working, that one gets hit all the time. But you can see that these are absolutely perfect still. They are obviously now quite long, though. I'll just show you my other hand. So this hand slightly has a bit of lifting, but it's in sort of the normal places like the corner um, and to be honest I am not very gentle with my nails at all um, especially now with the baby and everything um, I'm really really rough on them um, and obviously as well to try and test the strength I've sort of been really using the ends and everything but you can just see that these really are not going anywhere at all so I did previously um, do sort of a demo on how to do this sort of style with um, the Magpie Builder and sort of shapes and things like that. So I'll leave the link in the description box for that. But today I'm going to show you how to essentially infill the uh, Builder in a bottle. So... So today I'm going to show you how to infill using Magpie Build Me Up. So I'm going to do two nails because I want to show you one nail with using an e-file. I know there's a lot of techs out there who use an e-file. I only use an e-file for infills on top of product. I don't actually touch the natural nail. That's how I was taught Um in my course so that's personally just what I do I don't do any cuticle work or anything like that with any e-files um, so I know there are a lot of texts out there that do use an e-file it's great for taking off the length and obviously debulking taking off any um, lifting as well on the nail and it's obviously really really quick especially if you have got a gel color on top um, and then I'm also going to do one using a hand file because I know that as well there are a lot of techs out there who don't use an e-file because they're not trained in it or they don't like them or whatever. So I wanted to show you both methods today. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to show you first with an e-file and then I'll go on to the hand filing. So I'm going to show you on this one here because I have got one of the metal pieces here. It might be a little bit easier using um, an e-file for that. Not entirely sure, um, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with the e-file because so you can just see I've removed the bulk of the product. I've also removed quite a bit of the length. So now I'm just going to do my cuticle work. So, and then I'm going to get my 180 file and I'm just going to file the nail into shape. Then I'm just going to get a 240 buffer. So you can also use a 240 zebra file like this one, but I'm going to use the buffer this time. 
So then that nail is all ready to be infilled. So I'll just show you how to get ready on my thumb using a file. So I'm gonna use a 100 grit file for this. So just doing exactly the same thing by filing over the top and the length. Like that. So then again, I'm just going to do my cuticle prep. And I'm going to get my 180 file again and file into shape. And then again, getting my 240 buffer file just for the regrowth area. And, and then both of those nails are ready to be infilled. So I'm gonna get the Magpie Prep and Dehydrate Liquid and my Lymph Free Wipe. And I'm just really going to scrub those nails, making sure all of the dust it has come off and the nails have been well scrubbed. And then I'm going to get Build Me Up in Buff. This is what I used the first time, so I'm just going to use this again. So on both of these nails, I'm just going to do my thin adhesive layer and I'm going to cure in my lamp for 60 seconds so and then I'm going to do my thicker layer And then I'm going to cure them again in my lamp for 60 seconds. So if these are your natural nails and they're not as long as what I'm working with here, you can just stick to the two layers and you can either um, sort of refine and buff and then go on with your colour or if you're happy you can go straight on with your colour. But obviously as these are still extensions, but obviously as these are still extensions and they are quite long I am going to do a third layer but that's totally up to you cure my lamp for 60 seconds so then once they've been cured you can then buff and refine like I said um, or file whichever one you want to if you are going to do that 
I would suggest using a 180 file or a 240 file just to kind of file and refine into shape um, or you can go straight on with colour or glitter or whatever it is that you're going to do. So I hope that you like this video guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again soon, bye!